All right. This thing's going. Uh, so, it took me about four hours to put this thing together. And it came with some software in it, but it wasn't quite the right stuff. I guess it was like old. So I got my Arduino thing loaded up and I downloaded the program and now she's running. So what I got to do now is calibrate it. And that's probably going to take a while. But, you know, this thing wasn't too painful to build, really. Um, the directions the directions were pretty good up until the very end when things got kind of vague about like how to route the wires and stuff so this is my best guess at it um, you know we'll deal with it if we have to but yeah this thing uh, I don't think it's gonna be too much more pain here Right, ready for my first test here. I uh, uploaded the Arduino sketch into this thing and then I installed this program that allows me to type G codes into it. So I just turned that on, it's the next day, and uh, I'm going to just tell it to go home here, which is a G28. I'm pretty sure. Let me just make sure. G28. Alright. So, if this is all put together right, and everything's going the right way and everything, this uh, print head should go up to the top and stop. That's the home position. So here we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the next thing you got to do is uh, tell it to go to 100 millimeters above this table. So that's uh, G1Z100. G1Z100. doesn't hit the table you know I see something here this has to go right oh that's it doesn't look like four inches though is that a hundred Yeah, it's supposed to be 100 millimeters, which is 4 inches. Looks more like about 5. I bet you they put that in there for safety so you don't crash the table. Because what's supposed to happen here now is you're supposed to put a piece of paper on this table. And then you uh, progressively lower this lower and lower and lower until it just touches the paper and there's some resistance and then you set that as the zero point so there's probably some fudge built into this thing so you don't smash into the table immediately but yeah that's uh that's pretty slick man so it took me uh it took me like four hours to build this and uh you know i ended up with a ton of extra screws and nuts and bolts i don't know what the heck you know, they're not even even numbers of anything, so I think they just threw a bunch of extras in there. But, um, yeah, there it is, man. So, uh, I got some of that PLA. This is what they sent with it. And eventually, as part of the calibration of this thing, you got to, um, print a little uh, cube with this and then uh, you know they got all sorts of stuff about like um, there's like the convex and concavity of stuff there's parameters in the software to tweak that out 
and uh, there's scaling parameters. So like after you print this block that's supposed to be 20 millimeters on a side, you calculate out what the difference is and then you input the scaling factors into the software so that you know things are calibrated. So there's a lot of junk to go through here. Um, it's pretty damn boring and there's a ton of uh, a ton of videos on YouTube about how to calibrate this thing so I'm not going to force you to watch me go through it but um, when we start printing I'll come back it looks pretty cool man you know I was really uh, I was really kind of torn between buying this kind of a printer and buying an XYZ printer but this this printer here has a, a print area of I believe it's six by six by ten. Maybe it's even more than that. I'll, I'll have to check on that. Um, but for a compare, and this costs about three hundred bucks. For a comparable printer that runs six by six by six. You know what I've been seeing is anything with decent reviews on Amazon is up around six to eight hundred bucks. So, um, and you know, like I say, I mean, this kit, it was really well made. The only problem I had was clean and flashing out of the plastic parts. And uh, some of the directions are a little screwy, but you can figure them out. But um, you know, it looks like it's going to work great. We'll see as time goes on. Alright, it's getting ready to print here. I don't know what's going to happen, but uh, it's eating up the print head now. It's like 170 and it's going to 210. We'll see what happens. Probably make a huge mess and blow up. And we're getting close. we go. Come on baby, move. Alright, it's moving. Here we go. see anything coming out. Yeah, I think uh, the extruder is feeding it. I just don't think it's down to the printhead far enough. It's kind of cool though, huh? Yeah, I think this thing needs a little help on the extruder. Alright, we'll be back. Alright, there's juice coming out of it now. I don't know, for some reason it wasn't feeding properly. I think it's okay now though, we'll see what happens. doing it. How cool is this man?
Yeah, I gotta say, I haven't, I haven't done any of the scaling on this or anything. I just decided I was going to go right to the circle part of it. There's some hokey stuff in the software that I still can't quite get working. Uh, but this is pretty cool. says it's halfway done. Yeah, I can see on the display there's, there's some bugs too. The XY readouts garbage. Must be changing too fast. I don't think it matters that you see X and Y while it's printing anyways. I think that's just for uh, positioning. But yeah, it's working, man. All right, I think Cup of Joe's has additive machining capability. That is pretty cool. All in all, I'd have to say this has been a pretty painless thing. I mean, they they don't do it all for you, but um, you know, realistically, I mean, what have I spent on this thing? Five hours from a box full of parts to where I'm printing stuff. It's pretty amazing. There's a little glitchy stuff going on with, you know, the directions are a little weird. There we go. It's done. Cool. <laughs> Look at that, man. My first 3D printed piece. Alright. Pretty happy with that. I'm sure there's some calibration that has to go on, but uh, this is pretty neat. Alright. Alright, so what have we learned here? Any moron that can follow directions can put one of these together. So, I mean, they even supply you with a pair of rubber gloves so you don't get your hands dirty when you're assembling it. It, it has everything in it. It even has extra pieces from what I can determine because I have like tons of stuff left over, screws and fasteners and all sorts of stuff, but it's working. So. <laughs> But, uh, you know, this is a pretty popular model of printer as far as these uh, Cosell type go. There's a bunch of them on Amazon. Now, knowing what I know now, the 300 bucks that I paid for this printer was for the kit quality. The design is open source. So as a result, there are a ton of these printers out there all over the place, uh, printer kits. Um, there were ones on Amazon for 200 bucks, but they didn't have a lot of good reviews, I guess. Problems were they were missing parts or the pieces didn't fit together. <clears throat> like I said, this kit here was very minimal problems. I mean, I put it together, turned it on, and it started working. I mean, 
the calibration part of it, I haven't even done a lot of it yet. I did the part, I calibrated the Z axis, you know, obviously you have to do that to print anything. But the centering and the homing and, you know, after I finish printing this little cube here, I'll be able to do the, uh, the dimensional accuracy of it by measuring this cube and then putting some cal factors into the software. But, um, I mean, look at this thing, man. It's working great. So now I have to uh, find a place to put it here that isn't covered with crap. And, uh, you know, hopefully, uh, the next thing I print will be the, um, the uh, wood stove controller remote module case. <laughs> For the last year, that thing has been just taped together with electrical tape. But I'm going to try to solid model design a case and um, print it out here. And um, right now this thing is set up for PLA, which, um, you know, I'm not too crazy about the strength of it. Um, but I'm going to eventually set this up for ABS. And then, uh, you know, I mean, that stuff's plenty strong. All right, well, that's it from here. My cube is almost done, and then we have some calibrate to do.